On today's show, we're going to be looking at my new favorite care bag, quite possibly this brand new Think Tank Retrospective 7 version 2. Good morning and welcome to Photo Joseph's Photo Moment, the first live three times a week show here at youtube.com slash photo joseph every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9.30 a.m. Pacific time talking about photography, video, live streaming, and all things related, including today, camera bags. Who doesn't love camera bags? It's like, it's, it's an issue. I got the jean. I've got the bag and shoe jean. Believe me, it is like, it's bad. I love, I have so many camera bags, and every time I get a new one, I'm like, oh, I should get rid of the old one. I should sell this one, I should give it away, I should sell, but I can't, because, because you never know, you never know when you're gonna need that bag. Like, every bag that you buy, you buy it for a reason, right? It's not like, oh, it's just, that's kinda cool, I'll buy it. No, it's, because bags aren't cheap, the good ones aren't. So you go, oh, I need a bag that carries X, Y, and Z, and is compatible with this, it can go on the airplane, or go on the checked hold, or whatever it might be, so that's the bag that I need. And then you got another project or another job or another vacation. You're like, oh, I need a different bag this time. But then you never can get rid of the old bag because it's always, a, you know, you always want to go bail to go back to that and go, oh, yeah. I actually have bags that I have had for mm, probably 20 years. Seriously. And the oldest ones are basically used as storage. They're just up in the cupboards with junk in them. But they're still being used. With all that said, because one of our lovely viewers, Mr. Sean Mark Nipper, you've met him before, had such a brilliant idea. He said, and I think he's right, that I should give this bag away. So this is the new one. This is the Think Tank Retrospective version 2, which is what we're going to be exploring today. Here on the right, we have the Think Tank Retrospective 7 version 1. It obviously wasn't called the version 1, but th that's the version 1. And I think it's perfectly legit. I think that I can give this away. So here's what we're going to do. You guys, if you are interested in winning this bag, then what you got to do is put a comment, any comment, a nice comment, don't be a jerk, put a nice comment in the um, in the comments below. And now if you're watching this live and you're watching the live chat, that doesn't count for the live chat. The live chat comments don't carry over. You have to go back to the video once it's uploaded and comment there. So put a comment down and after a week, we'll do a week, we'll do a week, we can do a week. So one week, so what is today? Today is uh, the 17th of September, so whatever one week from today is. Uh, we will do a random name selection. So whoever's commented, we will do a random name selection on there. Commenting 500 times isn't going to help. Just comment at least once. You're welcome to comment more. Um, and uh, we will do a random selection from there and pick someone and I'll ship it. I'll ship this anywhere in the world. I will pay for shipping. It is, uh, it is just going to be a little gift from me to you. So hopefully, hopefully that works out for someone. I think that's a good idea. Sean, thank you for the suggestion. And no, Sean is not going to win. So with that said, let's talk about, first let me just briefly go about why I love this bag and then we're going to jump into this one and see what is new and exciting and fancy about it. So here's, here's the deal. This is a clearly a shoulder bag style size bag, relatively small, relatively compact, doesn't carry a huge amount of gear small enough that if you pack it completely full of gear, it's not going to break your shoulder when you're carrying it around. But this is, I've actually had this situation before where, granted I was on tour, I was doing a long shoot, but I had a bag that was so heavy that I carried too much on my back. It was a backpack style bag that I'd packed so full of gear. I ended up with a torqued back halfway through the job and had to take a day off, go to chiropractor, like get a whole thing done. And I missed a day of shooting because I was trying to be an idiot and carry way too much gear. If you're going to carry that much gear, get a roller bag. But if you can do a shoulder bag, do something smaller and lighter, hence like this. So this one in particular is sized for a, I think they say 13 inch laptop, or in my case, the iPad. This is, and this is the small iPad, so you can see there's plenty of normal size iPads, plenty of room to move around in here. The 15 inch laptop will not fit in here, it is for the smaller laptops. Or I wonder if you could fit the big iPad Pro. I don't actually know, I think you could, I think that fits in those dimensions. But anyway, so your iPad fits in here, and then there is, plenty of room inside for your gear. And what I have been transporting in here as a Lumix shooter, as a Micro Four Thirds shooter, clearly I've got a Lumix camera in here. I've got, let's just start pulling things out. I've got my GH5 with the 8 to 18. I've got the microphone. Now, because the bag is smaller, I can't really at least travel with this in place, right? It doesn't, that's not good for transport, but if I'm out and about shooting and I just want to set it down, then I can do this and kind of let it hang out like that. And that's okay. That's okay. But as far as actually A to B, not shooting, I would take the mic off as I normally would do in there. And then there's a big pocket on the side now where I would have a variety of lenses. And this will change depending on what I'm doing. But right now, today, what's in here? We've got my macro tubes extension extender. Uh, the Makey ones. I did a video on these a while ago. We'll link to that up here. Super awesome macro tube extensions. 
I've got my Xiongyi 25mm 0.95, nice, small, super shallow depth of field, 15 f 1.7, love this lens. And then at the moment, the 42.5 f 1.7, just because I wanted to have a slightly longer lens in here, didn't need to carry the Noctocron around. So it's so small and light, I just threw that in there as well. And you can see that's like nothing, all that kit there. So we got those, the camera with the 8 to 18. I also carry in here the Mavic Air and the Mavic Air controller, because obviously a drone without a remote is not going to do any good. So this kind of there's like a side pocket on the inside that it squeezes into ever so ever so slightly too snugly, but it works. So there's that. So we got all that in there. And then after that, it's just stuff. I've got a platypod in here. I've got, and we'll link to, I'm not going to link to all these things up here, but wherever there's videos that I've done about these things, like the platypod, we'll link to those down below. So you'll find a list of links down below to shows that I've done about bits and pieces of the gear in here. Um, I've got an LED light in here. I've got a bunch of random stickers. I've got filters. I've got extra batteries for the drone. There should be extra batteries for the GH5 in here, but they apparently are not. Um, off on the side here, I've got, this is nice at the, um, my little Pelican case for storing the SD cards that shoved into the side. And then there's other junk in here. I've got my SD card reader and the Apple Pencil, and I'm sure there's other things, lens caps and so on shoved into there too. But that's, that's the basic gist of it. So this is what I've got in there. A camera with a lens, a bunch of extra lenses, the full drone kit with the extra batteries, super important. A little LED light, platypod, filters, lens caps, that sort of thing. Okay, so that is what was in here. All of this will eventually go in here. And no, I'm not gonna make you watch me figure out how to put it all in, but let's just see what is new about this bag. Cause this, I gotta say, was a nice bag. It was really, it's nice, it looks good. I love that it's not black, thank you. I'm so sick and tired of black bags. This color really fits my persona, if you will, my style. Um, soft, supple, works as a pillow as you saw in the thumbnail. No, it's really been overall a great bag. Okay, so what's new about this one? Feature, new feature number one, which is, I think, personally, my favorite. Like, I saw this feature in the feature list and went, <laughs> that's the one that I need. You know what that is? You know what that is? Let me show you what this is. Let's say you're on a trip. You got your roller bag. Could be a roller camera bag. This is the Think Tank airport. airport. This could be a roller bag. It could be your, just your regular luggage. And, you know, this is kind of heavyish. You want to put it on there, and you're walking around, and then you go somewhere, and you... No good, right? That falls off. Well, what we want to do is we want to take this little sleeve here and want to slide this over the handle. And now, <laughs> that, my friends, it's not like it's not a new feature that you've never seen on bags before. This is certainly something that has been on camera bags in the past, but it's the first time it's on the retrospective series. And this to me is huge. Huge, huge, huge. I'm in airports all the time. I'm always carrying some kind of a wheelie bag, whether it's my luggage or a camera bag, and that's how I'm always carrying it. And so with this one, what I would do is I would take the handle and kind of wrap it, the um, shoulder strap and wrap it around the handle and kind of hope that it didn't, and it was always check in to make sure it wasn't falling over. This is enormous. So that right there, number one feature, worth the upgrade price alone. Okay, what else is in here? Let's go inside. And you've probably seen before, because especially if you've seen, I've shown it on here, Think Tank has this thing, this silent system, where you just heard the Velcro open, right? So let me go for a close-up shot here, possibly a little bit too close here, but if we open this up, there's Velcro here and here that holds this down. That's great, right? So it can't accidentally come open, but that's loud, right? That's loud. And if you are shooting a wedding or somewhere where you want to be quiet, that's not so cool, right? A sound, you don't want to have that. So they have these things called silencers in here. And the silencer is a flap that covers the Velcro. So you see the silencer is already activated here. So here, the silencer is activated, and that means when you close it, it doesn't, there's no Velcro to hold it. So it, it flaps closed. There's nothing holding it closed, but it's closed. And when you go to get into it, you pick it up, and there's no Velcro. Now, that has been in Think Tank bags for years and years and years. This thing's been around forever. Um, it's a brilliant system. The problem with the system was, and let me, uh, let me show you on the old bag. Okay, let's say that I'm, I'm now on location. The wedding has begun or the silent event has begun and I realize, ooh, I've got my, like this is already, ooh, I need to silence it, right? Here's, here's the old silencer. To activate the old silencer, I had to, I had to make noise and then cover it and close it. But to get to the flap, I had to open 
something else that was Velcro that made noise. So I really had to make sure that I knew this before I ever started the event. With the new one, with the new one, these silencer flaps are actually tucked inside. So let's go for the close-up again here. Here, this one's already activated, this one's not. It's in here, so I just pull this out and cover it, totally silent. And now we're ready to go. Now when I'm ready to go back, data point of care, obviously it's gonna open up, shove that in, into here and uh, flatten it out, get that in there, flatten it out, and you have now got your straps back to normal, or your flaps back to normal. So that is the second feature that I think is very, very impressive, very well thought through. Um, I'm sure someone said, the silencers are great, but too bad it makes so much noise to activate the silencer. And they went, oh, here's a way to do that, and away you go. So that's new upgrade feature number two that I really like. New upgrade feature number three is on this one, the original one, if I, let's see, I'm gonna do the top down view for this, if, uh, if we can see into it. If I open this one, so here's our, our access uh, pouch, our access compartment. If I close this, there's nothing sealing this area here. There are these flaps that kind of cover it to a degree to make sure that maybe debris doesn't get in there, but there's nothing that's really covering it. So if you were to, say, put this up down, upside down and shake it hard enough, you might be able to get some gear out. Worst case, someone could get their hand into here and pull something out. So that was always a little bit of a concern with this bag. However, now there is a totally zippered top pouch. So I can close this. See here, get this in place, there we go. I can close this up. So now the inside is completely secure. The flap goes back over it like before. Open that up. And I now have to open this to get into the gear. So the gear is safer when I'm carrying it, transporting it, whatever. Once I've decided that I'm accessing the bag, obviously I don't want to be opening and closing this constantly, I will just attach it like that. And you see how it, it kind of velcros onto that? So now that top flap, that new mini top flap, stays with the big top flap. So I don't have two flaps that I have to open. It just opens and closes together. So that is the next feature that is a very nice upgrade, which I think is pretty sweet. Um, after that, there is, they have moved the the pouch for your laptop or iPad from the outside to the inside. I can't say whether I like that better or not. I'm used to having it on the outside. I grab my iPad a lot, so I might find that I wish I didn't have to do that, but the main pouch for your laptop or iPad is now inside. That said, there is a zipper pocket on the back here, which, um, if I go close up, you're not gonna be able to see that, but a zipper pocket on the pouch, pot, pouch, it, pouch pocket, on the back here, which I haven't tested yet, but let's find out. Okay, the iPad, actually, the iPad still fits in there. You couldn't fit a laptop in there, but the iPad does. Okay, cool. So I can still keep my iPad here. If you've got a bigger iPad or a laptop, that definitely is not gonna fit there. In that case, you are going to want to go to the inside. But now with that said, now I could put a small laptop here, 13 inch, not the 15, and put a uh, iPad back here as well. So that's cool, all right, good. Other than that, the rest of the interior looks basically the same. Um, it does come with a rain pouch on here. This pretty much everything tank bag, if not everyone comes with this. It's nice, it's a little thing to just wrap over it. Although, I gotta say, man, you would have to be in one heck of a rainstorm to even need this because, um, because these things are relatively weather sealed anyway. So I'm not quite sure, I mean, you serious rainstorm. Um, front pocket, I don't think there's really any changes in here. You've got a zippered front pocket. You've got a place to put pens and cards and all that good stuff in there. And there is one more neat little feature that is their other big bonus feature. And that we're going to show you next. But first, I want to tell you, <laughs> I want to remind you of how we do today's show. Today's show, every show that we do, is done on what we call a value for value proposition. If you feel that you have gained value from today's show, then I would most certainly appreciate it if you consider putting value back into the show. The best way to do that is to head to photojoseph.com slash support. You can find all types of ways to support the show there, including via membership at photojoseph.com or, of course, shopping in the affiliate store. And since we are talking about a product on today's show, if you decide you would like to buy this product, then I would most certainly appreciate using the affiliate link down below. Okay, thank you, appreciate that, cool. All right, last feature that is really, really neat, very simple, very neat, the side pouch, the side pouch, let me get this thing out of the way, close this up, has been completely reinvented. You may have noticed while I was slipping around that there's this buckle here, and you're thinking, why is there a buckle on the side? Is there a little, you get a little pouch in here, I could take my, take my Pelican and shove that in there and, you know, there we go, jam that in and, you know, just like before, that's cool. But watch this, watch this fancy thing. I can unbuckle this and uh, open that. 
Just pop that out, flip down the bottom flap for padding protection, and you now have a place to put a water bottle, a place to put another lens. If you're just swapping lenses, you need a place to drop a lens in while you're swapping lenses. You can use it for that. You could just use it to shove anything in. It's just an extra side pocket. But really, ideally, water bottle or temporary lens storage. I wouldn't say permanent lens storage because there's no protecting it on the top. But if you just need a place to drop a lens while you're changing lenses, that is awesome for that. Or again, a place to put your water bottle. So that right there is the other big bonus feature. So you've got the, the strap on the back for your roller bag. Fantastic. You've got the newly designed silencers. You've got the now closable top flap and the expanding side pocket to get you access to a water bottle or temporary lens storage. Those are the major upgrades. It is a slightly different color. I'm not sure actually if it's going to be in other colors. We should probably look that up on the website. The Think Tank Photo Retrospective 7 version 2.0 shoulder bag, 164.75. This is on the B&H page, of course. And you'll see in here that there are, you can actually from here access the different size retrospective bags. So they have done a whole new series of these bags, um, all the different sizes. This 7 is just the perfect one for me. But if you find that you need something a little bit bigger, there's the 15. Um, no, that's not the 15 inches. It's just the 15 inches. I don't know what these other ones are. That's retrospective 30. Then you've got the 5. Okay, you'd have to go through and figure out which one works for you. But anyway, that is the one. This 7 version 2. This is, as you can see, a brand new item coming soon, which is currently available for pre-order here and on Amazon. Again, my link is uh, down below. And uh, yeah, that is a pretty darn cool camera bag. I like it. So with that said, remember what I said, folks, I am going to give this thing away. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give that thing away. So to earn, to win, to win that bag, what you got to do is put a comment down below. Tell me, tell, I mean, you can tell me anything. Tell me how you'd use the bag. Tell me why you'd love the bag. It doesn't matter. It's going to be a random selection, but you know, you got to have something to comment. Tell me how awesome that would be and why you would love to have that bag. It's always nice to hear these things. And we will pick a name out of random from that list. With that said, it is now time to head into the Q&A portion of the show. So for those of you watching live, you know what to do. If you're watching live, you got a question for me about what you've seen here today or anything else, but then uh, stick it into the live chat. I will bring you up on the screen like this. See the people that got the at photo Joseph in front of it, they got the right idea. Put at photo Joseph in front of your question, and then I will know that it's a question for me. And we'll jump over to that right now.